Hey guys, Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you the same day, but this is a little bit different haul. This is some autumn, fall uh, decor, different things, and Halloween, and even a splash of Christmas. Yeah, that's disgusting, but I'm pretty sure what I've picked up is leftovers from last year. But I wanted to share because you never know, maybe your Dollar Tree um, accidentally lost a box and then decided to stick it out now too. All right, so the question for this video will be, so far, what is your favorite Halloween or fall decor that you've seen? It could be something you see in this video, or maybe you've seen um, one of the other fellow YouTubers um, haul something really nice. So, I'm a sucker for pumpkins. They came out with the pumpkins last year, and they're real shiny, and they're beautiful. They're like a copper, and an orange, and a, a brownish color, and I bought several of them last year. Now, this year, they have some really cute ones as well. Like, I really like this crackle look with the gold in it. I think that's really pretty. But they own, I believe that they only have this size and maybe the larger size in this one. But they have kind of a little bit different colors. This is a little bit more orangey, like a d light orange. And this is like a darker, bright orange. And they're both pretty in their own way. And then they have these really pretty jewel tone or jewel covered ones. And in the bottom of my bag is a bunch of these pretty little jewels. But they have three different colors that I saw in these. So there's like an orange, a brown, and this kind of yellow mustard color almost. And I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They're going to look really pretty on the shelf back here or wherever I decided to put them. But you can add these to any little shelf decor and they'll look great. I did pick up some of these leaves that they had last year that they've put out this year that were kind of like a, a see-through, but this year they're putting them out and they have this really shiny finish to them. And if you turn them over on the back, they're silver. And so you could utilize them either way. Um, you could hang these up in the kitchen and use the back part of the silver part and that would look really pretty or you can use it this way which looks just as pretty i think this even on one of the um, wreaths would look beautiful but they've got this in three different colors as well so there's like a red an orange and a green i'll try to show you all these at the same time so you can kind of see them but they're just beautiful these really pretty platter plates and these are huge um, this kind of has like this wood green background with leaves surrounding it. And it's really pretty. I, I want to put something with my silhouette um, cutter in here, like give thanks or grateful or something on this. This would look really good just even up on the wall. But if you thought that one was pretty, then they have this one as well. And these are super big. I only saw one pack of these glow-in-the-dark window clings, and they're eyeballs. I thought they were pretty cute. So there's 15 in all, um, but they're just window clings. Um, I thought about just adding them to something to make it look like something had glow-in-the-dark eyeballs. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of um, stuff they come out with Halloween for, for picture hanging, because I've got a few here that I found. They have some felt stickers. Um, these are really cute. How, um, they got bats, kitty cats, and some pumpkins. So there's witches hats and witches shoes in this one. This one's my favorite. And I'll tell you again, my mom's birthday's Halloween. So I've always had a love for Halloween anyway. There's something purple in here hiding too. Okay, so there's a purple hat and a black hat. Here's the little witch shoes. Those are pretty cute. They have this purple hat and it kind of looks like this one but this is the black with the orange. But Then they also put in one with a little sunflower on there. So that's pretty cute. I picked up some of the maple leaves. I like to throw these around on different things just to kind of um, dress stuff up. You know whether it's a coffee table or like the sofa table. And I really like the glitter and the look on that one. I didn't pick up just one bag up because I think I have some from years prior. 
These are really cute. These are stick-on bats. And there's a set of four of them, and they're glittery and fun. But check those things out. On the back, you can see where they've got a little sticky part. And I even took one apart already. So you could almost kind of either hang him on something if you really wanted to, you know, to make him look like he was hanging. Um, or you can peel this piece off and stick him onto something. So I have found one place that had a few of these Halloween signs, but this says, Beware, a witch and her little monsters live here. But how cute would that be if you decided to attach the bat to that? And maybe not this one, but maybe one of the others. They had Trick or Treat. And you know, even these for a dollar, that's pretty good because they swing. And then the last one is enter if you dare. I'm gonna hang this on one of the kids' rooms. <laughs> That's pretty good. And I definitely probably overdid it because um, this says Halloween. It would be really cool if it didn't even say Halloween on it so that you could use it up through whenever, um, even through Thanksgiving. But look at that cute owl. I love the silhouette of that. Really cute. And this kind of has like a, a shimmer to it. And then they had this one that says Eek. It's got the kitty cat and the skeleton. And then here's one with just the skeleton and a spider. And this is kind of glittery looking too. It's kind of a silvery finish on that one. I have seen a few other people actually haul these, but I don't know if you've seen their hauls or not yet. Um, but they have these string lights, and they have them in orange and purple. It is with the um, Halloween stuff that they have these. It takes two AA batteries. Um, of course, it says for indoor use only, and it's up to 60 inches in length for these. So I did pull one out of the package. I wanted to show you what it looks like. I have some of the Panasonic batteries in it from the Dollar Tree. And this is the purple one. And it is pretty um, nice in length. I don't know if I can really show you to appreciate that, but would be good like in a little jar. And I can tell you this would really dress up a um, Halloween costume even and it would be battery operated and that would be pretty neat and my daughter's going to JMU and their colors are purple and gold and so I thought wow if she attended any kind of um, football or basketball or you know game or anything like that that would be fun to wear too so I, that's pretty neat um, it kind of it looks to me like it's strands of that fiber optic stuff and they're all different lengths or something. And so the tip of it is what actually is kind of glowing at each part. I don't think that it's actual lights within there. And it makes me believe that because here's where the essence of the light is coming from to shine through is on each end. See how it's really light right there? So I feel like that's what it is. I don't really feel like there's actually lights all the way through there, but it's really cute. Oh, speaking of tea lights, they do have some that are Halloween related. So I did get the skulls. I thought they were kind of cute. I only bought one pack. Sometimes I'll buy a couple packs and leave them laying around, but I do have that dry sink that I um, decorated with all my um, summer stuff, with my beachy theme stuff. Um, and I plan to decorate it with the fall stuff soon. And in the spirit of getting stuff that was orange, I went ahead and picked up a few of these little tea light holders in the orange color because you can always use them to add to something or set something on top of it to make it even cuter. You can do so many different things with these. And of course they have this skeleton garland. You get four in a pack. So I was kind of on the hunt for some of this uh, yellow decorative mesh and I finally found one of the Dollar Trees that had it and I think they had probably seven or eight different rolls and I'm bad. I bought them all because I want to make a sunflower wreath 
I am so excited. I wanted to either find this or yellow burlap. And I really love this color. It's so pretty. Um, so my plan is to make a sunflower wreath. And then I bought uh, this burlap ribbon. And I also went ahead and bought one of this. So it might not be enough. But I'm either going to use either one of these for the center of the sunflower. And I really like the, the darker um, burlap and this darker mesh even for this. I've seen some of the tan, you know, that the Dollar Tree has. But they do have some of this with the red and the orange out for the um, autumn decor. So, that's going to be the center of my sunflower. I did end up picking up one of these little uh, scarecrows with the bobblehead. He was my favorite. They have two different ones that I saw, but I really like this one. It's pretty cute. And of course, what I was really on the hunt for when I went out were these salt and pepper shakers. Now, I went ahead and bought all three designs that they had because they had these cute pumpkins. And even if you just use them, um, not for that intention, but you know, even just for decoration, these are nice. I went ahead and picked up the squirrels because they're really cute too. But what I really wanted was the owls. And so I did get a set of those. And I just love these. And they're definitely going to be decor. I'm not going to use these as salt and pepper shakers either. This is just enough to make my boyfriend mad because he likes to get a lot of pepper. And this wouldn't be enough for him. <laughs> okay, I've got a few more things to show you. And these are some ice cube trays. I don't know if I can melt my crayons in these or not. But they do seem pretty um, firm. So I don't know if I can stick these in the oven. I kind of doubt it. So the only other option I have is maybe to uh, melt the crayon in a different way and pour it in there and maybe not put it in the oven. Um, or I can use these with polymer clay. But they have this with the skeleton faces. You can kind of see a little bit better what they look like that way. And then they have this one with the spider webs. I think that looks really cool. And then, then the spider. And then they have the pumpkin. But they're just ice cube trays. You could buy them for their intentional use, but I'm going to try to make some molds out of something. Either the crayons or polymer clay or air dry clay, one or the other. And the last two things I want to show you is I'm sure these were things that were set out last Christmas. I'm just guessing. Um, but they're the ceramic painting sets. And there was a Santa Claus holding a Christmas tree. There's blue, green, and red paint with these. Of course, I bought all the bunnies in the world at Easter, and I loved painting those. Um, painted some brown. I painted some with that heirloom white with the pearlescent um, paint over them. And I may do something similar to that with these. Um, but they also had a penguin. And he's holding a little present. And my oldest daughter just loves penguins. So... I could even paint him and make him uh, a really cute ornament for her to have as well. So one of the other things I saw that they had, and I've seen these at Joann's and Michael's before. It just looks like the little um, skeleton of the birds. And I just picked up this one. I think this is the only one I saw, but I think they do are going to have other ones as well. But I think this looks really neat. I think it'll look good on the fireplace along with the little skeletons along the bottom. So I can't wait to decorate. And it's really interactive. Like his mouth even opens. You can kind of move his wings back and forth. That's about it with him, but still. Kind of like those skeleton heads that they had last year. You could there were there was one that you could move the jaw, the other one you couldn't, but so I thought he was really cool. And then they had some houses out. And these might be from last year. If you happen to know, let me know. Because if they're going to come out with more, I'll kind of try to be on the lookout for them. But they had some of these houses at one of, only one of the Dollar Trees that I've been at. And these aren't badly painted. I actually kind of like them. I might even leave them just as they are. 
but there's that one and it's got holes in the roof at first I thought the first one I saw I thought it was broken holes in the side of the house so there's that house and then there's this one and then there's a mortuary And then there's this one. This is the first one I saw, and I really thought that it had just broke like that. I guess I could show you the back of them. That was very rude of me. So let's go back and look at the mortuary again. So here's the back of the mortuary. But you could actually put those lights in them that you can plug into the wall even to light them up. And then let's go back and look at this one. That I guess I was thinking there wasn't anything special on the back of these. So like the windows are open on the sides but there's nothing in the back. And then they had a few little figurine things to go with it. So they had this and I'll probably put these on my dry sink. A little chair or bench. Gonna have some grave sites. Just kind of some fence with some skeleton heads on there. this one and one last one I like the little gargoyles on top they're pretty cool so I'm kind of debating on whether to leave them or my other thought is to actually paint them all black so we'll see I haven't decided yet but I like those and there's one more. This one actually just says station. It's pretty big. And it's got some little openings there. Nothing on the back. And then there's some openings there. So the light could shine through on that too. And there is a little opening here. It's kind of hard to tell in the camera angle. I don't know if y'all remember seeing those last year or if they had some kind of similar to it even. Let me know. And I went by Walmart at one point because I was looking for something in particular with the um, matchsticks um, that they had. And they had these um, same type of pumpkins like they have at Walmart, but they had a little bit different colors and sizes. And these are 98 cents at Walmart. So you're saving a whole two cents. If you can't find them at the Dollar Tree, don't despair. You can get these at Walmart as well. And they had a few different ones. So these are kind of like the taller standing ones. But like I say, I love that crackle looking finish with the gold in there. Just think that is so pretty. I got one of each color and then I really like this. This is kind of like a off-white color pumpkin. Um, and it's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if I can catch it in the light right or not. It's like that overhead light was just catching a glare to it. But it's really pretty. Ah, oh, that's perfect. I kind of let you see it how I see it. But I really like that one. I only got one because, I, like I say, I have tons of pumpkins from last year. Okay, so quick wardrobe change. I've got a few other things to show you. I actually have a sweatshirt on. It was 51 degrees when the kids went out for school this morning, which by no means, if this was springtime, I would think, ooh, 50 feels warm. But this morning it felt pretty chilly, um, just for this time of year for September. Kind of excited. Kind of makes me feel like fall's in the air. But I got a few other things that I wanted to show you. I did pick up some of these stickers, Halloween stickers that the Dollar Tree had. 
I'll more likely than not use these in my planner. In the area where they had the houses, they did have one tree. It's got little purple tips on it, but I thought I would just set that with the scene. I also found some of these glitter vase fillers. I had made some candlestick holders, or the candlestick holders themselves, along with one of the long glass um, vases that the Dollar Tree has, and glued those together with E6000, and I keep changing out the vase filler like every holiday, and when I saw this, I'm like, oh, how perfect. All right, so I picked up this sign. You know, it does have some glitter on it. If I can find a way to smooth that out, then I'll use this side. If not, I'm planning on using the opposite side, kind of like I did my DIY with the summer decor signs, and I'll link that video below. But I like that. It looks like a jar on the back, like a mason jar. Hmm. Oh, the possibilities of doing something cute with that. So the Dollar Tree I went to, they only had two different ones of these. They're those really pretty candle holders. They had some in the summer that had like seahorses and starfish and um, seashells on them. But they have some now for fall with the leaves. And this one's purple and this one's black. I have seen other people haul these now. And I think there's like a reddish maroon one and an orange one. So I really don't need candle holders anyway. But I thought they were so pretty. This is kind of like silver inside this one but this one kind of looks orange and it might just be because it's black but I don't know they were really pretty with one of the little tea lights that light up in the bottom of it they also had these cute black cauldrons and I don't know what I'm gonna put in this just yet maybe candy but it's no, it's really cute. It be, would be really fun to come up with something really neat to stick in the middle of this to make a decoration with. So I got one of those. And then they also had these skulls. And I don't know, I was just intrigued by them. They're kind of that ceramic feel. But they had black, silver, gold. I want to say there was another color. But I, I got the black ones. I thought that was really neat. Maybe they even had white. But I would think I would have gotten white over black. Eh, oh well. Thought they were really neat looking. Kind of like a ceramic feel to them. And then they had these solar dancing sunflowers. And I love sunflowers. So I got one of those. I found one of these uh, galvanized buckets with the um, trim on it. With the twine. Of course you could do this yourself. But you know I thought heck. Let's go ahead and buy one. I did find a thing of the adhesive diamond wrap in the clear, or the, I guess it's silver. And I really like this stuff. The only ones I've been able to find so far were a teal color, and they're really pretty. But I really wanted to buy some of the silver. Of course, they've always had those rhinestone sheets at the Dollar Tree, and I love buying the clear ones because you can make them whatever color you want to with alcohol markers. Well, these are a little bit different. There's over 500 gems in this, and they're a really nice size. But it's longer than the other one used to be, and I can't remember how many the other ones had in it, but they had different ones. This one is black and clear. I thought that was pretty neat. Let me see if I can get a close-up of it. And then this one had all different colors. So, that could come in really handy. And I got one of each of those. And that is it. So, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to definitely still have um, a couple more Dollar Tree hauls within the next couple days. I think I have a family dollar haul as well. Um, the only thing that I'm asking for the giveaway is to comment on the video. And each video gets you another chance to win. So I will keep track of who um, even comments on every single video. So leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or comments, um, leave that down below as well. I'm going to try to keep track of this really well for the next couple weeks, more so than I usually do. That um, 
this is going to end September 22nd. I feel like that gives enough time for people to even see, kind of see these videos up until then, just because they're all kind of like haul videos. And I'd really love to start sending this stuff out on the 25th. So I'm going to start contacting people the very day that um, I do do this or even make a separate video maybe to announce the winners like i say um doing the giveaway just as a thanks to all my subscribers just want to say how much i appreciate everybody taking time out of their day to stop by my channel and watch my videos and leave a comment and you know it it helps i sometimes i think well do i really want to do this and i love making stuff and i love going on and watching other people's videos i like seeing their twist on it their take on it how they say they do things and still learn something new and different from each person okay so that wraps up this dollar tree haul thanks so much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and after you hit subscribe, if you click that bell, that'll notify you every single time I upload a video. Keep watching for the next week. We'll have plenty of more giveaways. I'm going to do six total in all. Even if I don't do six videos, I'm still going to do six giveaways in the least. If my channel continues to grow, it could come up to seven. I doubt it'll go any higher than that, but just so you know. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for your wonderful comments. Y'all have a great day.